I'm a smelly boy. I just had a PT session. I feel like crap. <laughs> In a good way. The pay, the way that you pay for. <laughs> it's torture. I love it. It's good. I actually feel good to be getting back to doing some fitness stuff. I am rendering this week's video, which heh, patrons know you're going to get to see early because they always see it at least 24 hours early. But while that renders, i got a little bit of extra time up my sleeve. So I thought I'd check in with you and uh, say hi. I thought I'd grab my keys, go to my office, because the questions of the day are on my desk. So what do I... Oh, that's the alarm. Oh no. And uh, my app... Crap. I've set the alarm off. It's literally like right on now. I've triggered the alarm and my legs are too sore to move quickly because I'm... Oh no! Hang on. Oh. What have I done? Just wait. Oh, jelly legs. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Crisis averted. Smooth. Okay. Well, now that I'm down here, let's... Let's, uh... I don't know. Jelly brain and jelly legs. It's been a big week. But I'm feeling good. I, do you know what, what might be worth sort of updating on? I'm, I'm in a weird mishmashy place in terms of like what I feel like is worth, you know, talking about in this vlog. Because in the last vlog uh, where I came in and turned all the lights off and just sort of shared where I'm at, I can't help but feel like... It just, it's just so self-centered, like, I don't know, on the main channel, I make stuff. You know, on the Jazza channel, I'm, I, I'm giving you something. Um, by making art, by making things to hopefully inspire or interest you. Here, it's like, I feel like when I talk about things that are interesting or relatable, that, you know, like, cool projects or like, the AI scam thing or whatever it is, stuff like that, like markers, whatever it is. When I talk about stuff that you guys are interested in that isn't me. <laughs> but then when I reflect on a video like the last vlog, where it's literally just me talking about how I'm feeling about doing all this stuff, I feel like a bit of an idiot. Like I feel like who, who wants to watch that? But then again, a lot of you do watch that stuff. So I don't know. I think it's just my imposter syndrome. <sighs> I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Um, uh, let, let me know, maybe this is a chance for me to ask you a question, because as I've been, I feel like I've been, you know, enjoying being more reliable with the vlogs and stuff, um, I don't know what they are, but I don't think I need to, which is kind of the point, you know, but I, I'm interested to know what you're most interested to see, like, is it my opinions on art specific things, is it the goings on of the studio or is it projects that are sort of coming about whether it be products or, or videos um or is it more introspective stuff you know like that last vlog or whatever i don't know let me know genuinely curious i'm gonna fish around for a question for my question of the day um what do we have here <laughs> <sighs> what yeah, let's do let's do this one Yoi P271, what happened with the girl that did the vlogs for a while? So that was Caroline, uh, who doesn't work here anymore. Um, and it's so interesting when I think back, there's actually a, a 10 year anniversary photo on my, on my, uh, in my shelves that I would show you, except there's a few people in that that prefer not to be on camera. Um, and it's so interesting because almost half the people in that picture aren't, aren't here anymore. And it's, I sort of, you know, look back fondly on, different stages of this business of the channel and the different people who have come in and out of these walls and helped out in different projects and sort of shared their personalities here with us and then also with you and the content um and i guess it's just this bizarre sort of thing that i've slowly bec become a little bit used to i'm still not quite used to it whenever someone leaves it's always a little bit of a shock um, Liam uh, recently moved on to a different job at the start of the year uh, and Vaughan had moved into becoming the tabletop time editor. Caroline uh, had worked here previously, w was uh, 
worked on the main channel, but also for a period of time did quite active vlog work. Gareth has was a major part of the main channel for many years. And they're, they're all, they've all moved on. They're all, you know, elsewhere and doing other things. And I genuinely wish them the best and, and care about them and, and hope they're doing well and that they're happy. And I'm grateful for the time that they had here. Um, but that's life, you know, people come and go. And I think there, there will be, there's this weird, <laughs> here's, here's a weird, uh, here's a weird little insight for you. Two days before or the day before Gareth let me know he was leaving. I journaled. I, w I was journaling and I was just getting into journaling and I was reflecting on people coming and going. And I literally named all the, in my journaling, I wrote down the names of everyone who had ever worked on the Jazza channel or in our production or with us ever, including people who had left. Most of them that I wrote down were people that don't work at the time didn't work with me anymore. I wrote down Gareth and I was just sort of doing that and internalizing that, you know, it's going to change and people were, and literally like a day or two later, Gareth was like, like, I've, I've got to move on. And it was like so bizarre, but it was like, okay, well, I, you know, the time is right, obviously. And that's the thing I was sort of internalizing. So I just thought that was really interesting and quite a very uh, poignant coincidence. Um, and yeah, same, same sort of thing when Rob left that sort of that, there's a bit of pain when you lose people, especially people you care about and you get along with really well. Um, but now I have Maddie, who's my PA, who's very different to Rob. Um, and they both have their own different strengths in different areas. And I love this new Maddie era. I love this new era of like, you know, the team that I have here now feels like there's this, just, we've got this capsule, this moment in time of what we are now. And I love that, you know, it's different to what we were in the past. It's different to what we'll be in the future. And I love what we've been. I love what we are and I'm going to love where we're going because I love what we do. Anyways, that's my blab for today. Thank you for joining me. I think my video is rendered, so I'm going to go home and have a shower. Bye.